Hey guys, it's Amy here, and today I bring you my July TBR. So out of the 11 books that I showed last month in my TBR video, I read 8 of them, which I think is pretty good, because I then like read other books as well, so I'm pretty chuffed with that. Hopefully we'll have as much success this month as well, so let's get on to the book. So the first book I have to show you is The Circle by Dave Eggers. This one was in my last month's book haul. I received it from Penguin. It's part of the Penguin's Essentials collection. I haven't read any kind of like dystopian-y sci-fi type thing in a while, which I think is what this one is about, so I'm hoping it's going to be a good one. Next we have The Angel's Game by Carlos Ruiz Zephon. I read The Shadow of the Wind last month, which has to be one of my all-time favourite books. It was just phenomenal. I reread it. It was I, I read it like four years ago and my goodness, it was brilliant. So this is the second book, I think, in like a loose trilogy. I don't know how like closely they follow along from each other. I don't think it's the same characters. But now that I've reread that one, I kind of want to continue on and read the other two books in this series. So even if the story isn't like about the same characters, like Carlos Ruiz Zafran has a stunning way of writing, so I'm very much looking forward to this. My non-fiction pick for this month is going to be Chernobyl Prayer by Svetlana Alexovic. I keep mentioning this one, but I specifically want to read this one this month because my boyfriend is going away on a stag do and they're actually going to visit Chernobyl, which I think is a strange thing to do on a stag do, but hey ho. So I'm hoping if I get to this one, I'm going to be able to speak to him a lot about Chernobyl and what it's like now and kind of what it's like in this book. So yes, hopefully we will get to it now that I've mentioned it like a billion times this year. I do hope I get to it this month. Next we have one that I mentioned in my like mid-year book tag video as one that I really wanted to get to and that is Anne Patchett's Commonwealth. This is one that I really just don't want to leave and forget about on my shelf, so I'm really hoping to pick it up this month. I've mentioned this one a few times recently, so I'm not going to talk too much about it here, but very much looking forward to it. Have you noticed that my phrase in these videos is, I'm very much looking forward to it? Like, I say it all the time, and it really annoys me when I get to editing, because I'm like, I'm very much looking forward to reading all of these bloody books. Like, it's so annoying. Like, I hope it doesn't annoy you as much as it annoys me. Maybe it's just because it's my own voice that I have to hear saying the same sentence over again. Like, I have these phrases. If in fact, I think most booktubers too, like, they have the certain words that they say all the time. It's just infuriating. Maybe you don't notice it, I don't know. I notice it. <laughs> Next we have my classic book for the month, which I'm actually rolling over from last month's TBR because I didn't get around to it, and that's Lady Orderly's Secret by Mary Elizabeth Braddon. I'm really hoping to get to this one in July just because I think it would be a really good one to read in the summer for some reason. I just have this feeling about it. As of right now, I don't have a particularly busy July, so I'm hoping that most of these books can be read. I do have a few more to show you. I'm not sure if I've mentioned this in a video, but I'm actually trying to read at least 10 books a month, and so far this year I have succeeded in doing that, so I'm trying to keep up with that. So that's why in these videos I do show you quite an array of books because I try and get to that 10 books a month and so far it's going well. Last month I read my Helen Oyemi book so this month I'm reading my Shirley Jackson book if you've been following my little journey with those two authors. So this month we are reading The Sundial by Shirley Jackson. I must say I really love these cover designs of the Shirley Jackson books. I think they are all stunning. I love the photography, the, like even the people on them. I'm not a huge fan of um, people being on covers of books, like actual photographs of people, uh, but these I think are gorgeous. So what I've gleaned from the back of this one, it follows a group of people living in this kind of grand house and one day the long dead original owner of this house arrives to say that the whole world is ending and the inhabitants of this house are going to be the only living people remaining on earth and it sends the house into chaos. It sounds very Shirley Jackson to me, it sounds like it's going to be quite kind of confusing and muddled and a bit like ambiguous and I imagine it's going to be one that ends on a bit of a like oh what's happened here but hopefully I understand it like I said before that these ones like there have only been a couple of Shirley Jackson ones where I feel like I know what's going on right up until the end so hopefully I will get this one we'll have to see <laughs> next we have one from my video that I made right at the beginning of the year my top books that I must read in 2017 and that is The Luminaries by Eleanor Catton I haven't read like a huge chunker of a book recently and so I fancied that this month hopefully we will get through it I think it's like nearing on 900 pages I've heard so many mixed things about this book but I've also had a lot of you guys say that you think I would really like it even if you didn't like it you think that my taste would go really well with this book so hopefully it's going to be a winner I hope it is because you know, we had the incident with the goldfinch at the beginning of the year, which was a similar size book, which I thought I was going to love, I didn't love, and that was infuriating. This one, if I get, like, 100 pages in and I'm not enjoying it, I'm just going to DNF it, even though it's on my must-read 
list of the year. I'm really not going to push myself to read any books that I'm not enjoying this year, so hopefully this will be good. A collection of poetry that I'd like to read in July is Hold Your Own by Kate Tempest. I've been attempting to read more poetry this year. I haven't read a great deal, but last month I read Today Means Our Men by Sierra de Mulder, and I adored that book. I thought it was really, really great. So hopefully, I think the kind of style of this, like the kind of spoken word poetry, is like the similar thing to Sierra de Mulder. So I have a feeling I'm really going to enjoy this one. I've also heard so many good things about this book from people I really trust on BookTube. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we will love it. Even if I don't enjoy it, I think this is a stunning book anyway, so I think I'd be tempted to keep it just on that alone. <laughs> And finally, I have two graphic novels that I want to read this month, and the first one is Persepolis by Marjane Satrapi. I've had this one on my bookshelf for years, probably like three years. I believe I'm right in saying that this is actually like a graphic memoir, so this isn't fiction, this is actually Marjane Satrapi like sharing her own life experiences, and I really loved that in Art Spiegelman's Mouse, and I have a feeling that this is going to be like a similar kind of thing. And in fact, actually, the illustration style is quite similar to that as well so I think this is going to be a good one I'm looking forward to it I will definitely let you know at the end of the month what I think and the final book I have to show you is another one from my recent book haul and that is The Park Bench by Shabute and as I mentioned in that video this one is a silent graphic novel so it's got no words whatsoever it's all just kind of black and white illustrations so we'll see how this one goes I very much enjoyed The Arrival by Sean Tan which is also a silent graphic novel I think they're going to be like quite different things but I'm very much interested in this whole silent graphic novel type thing so if you have any more recommendations for things like this do let me know. So there we are, those are all the books that I hope to read in July. Let me know if you've read any of these and what you thought of them. What are you hoping to read in July? I'd love to hear. As always I will leave links to Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, everything I've mentioned today down below. I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I will see you soon. Bye!